Sabriel Matias stops Jeremiah Ponce. What was that, the fifth round, sixth round? Six. That was, um, I'm going to tell you this. I, di I didn't like how it started off. I didn't like how he let Ponce just punch on me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And the, word, and the reason I use the words let is because he was aware of, of it, but he wasn't doing too much about it. He's letting me punch on me, punch on me. But then it was like, immediately in the second round, all right, I took your best shot. Here's my shit. And you, and you slowly seen the fight change. He heard him, I think, at the end of the second round. Um, came back out in the third round, applied that pressure to the body. One thing I like about Matias, he throws, he throws good combinations. But you could tell he naturally heavy-handed. He don't got the kind of power where you got to go looking for the power. He could just tap you and it should have hurt. I can tell. But the only thing I don't like is, the, is allowing people to hit you shit. I think um, as he goes up in level, I think he's going to have a lot of trouble with them guys up top. Unless he change that and box a little more. Right, what guys are you speaking of? Like the Josh Taylors, the Regis Prograves? Josh Taylor, Regis Prograves. Um, my man, uh, Richard, Richard Hickson. Yeah. Um, uh, Tia Fimo, guys like that. He didn't have trouble with that type shit. Because they smart enough to know I gotta get the fuck back out of there. I'm not gonna sit in there. I, I see what kind of power he got. I'm not gonna sit in there and, and trade with him. And again, I'm not saying they'll just beat him up or just beat him, but it's gonna take more than power. You know what I'm saying? But he can fight. He can fight though. And he got good hand speed. What do you think about a potential fight with him and Elvis Rodriguez? Is Elvis ready for that? I think he'll hurt Elvis. He hurt Elvis. Elvis, what I saw from Elvis is he, he, he's strong and he big, but he don't, he not too good with distance. Like when he, when he tried to go finish, uh, Adorno, Adorno, when he tried to finish Adorno, instead of him jabbing his way in and finding him, he walked right up on him and did like this and Adorno caught him with a hook as he was walking in. You know as a like, matter of fact. Adorno hurt him right after he got hurt. Right. And that stalled and his to, momentum. Yeah, right. he had to he chill. He step back and, and, and get himself together. So if, had that been Matisse punch, I think he would hurt him. Mm. It would hurt him back. But I like, uh, I like all them guys. All of them did a pretty good job. But Matisse, I think he got, he got to just sharpen up and box more. For sure. Gary Antoine Matisse? Matisse? Yeah, that's more... <laughs> See that that fight is more suited, more suited for uh, for Matisse because Gary will fight with him. Mm. Gary crazy enough, crazy enough to fight with him. So that fight might work in his favor, but that's still a dangerous fight because Gary Antoine can box too. He can box and he can brawl, but he's crazy enough to try to brawl with him. So I mean that gives him a, not an edge, but that gives him a chance for sure. That's a 50-50 fight.